So art was always sort of, that was going to be my thing. I mean, I probably would have gone into chemistry or physics or something like that if I had to cho choose like a field outside of that. But I knew early on, my father wanted me to have something to fall back on, and you know, which is where I learned electrical wiring. And that ended up kind of being part of what I put into the, into the artwork, into the New Mutants and into Stray Toasters and things. It was sort of my tip of the hat to him. Um, and one of the reasons why I started collecting toasters, which, you know, was because they're all different, but they only do one thing. It's like there's a, there's a personality to, to each of them. So, um, so it, was my, it was my way of sort of like remembering my roots. But at the same time, I was a kid, I was growing up, or I was in a farm, I, I was more envious of the kids who were from towns. And um, because I, I, like I said, I could go out into the, into the woods and get lost all day with my dog and never see another soul. But I would see, you know, hawks and, you know, and, and deer and not another soul. And now as I've gotten older and with more and more people around, I realize how fortunate I was to have that, you know, that sense of isolation. And it really forced me to sort of become much more self-reliant. You know, entertainment on a, on a summer night, because we lived in an area that didn't have street lamps, was to sit on the front porch and watch heat lightning, you know, and like the lightning and thunderstorms. It was just, it was like fireworks, you know. I was doing, I was drawing all the time, all the time. I, I, I was in seventh grade and I gave, I used to fill up notebooks. Like I had one teacher in fifth grade named N uh, Nell Harper, who we used to have a daily journal that we used to have to write. And I turned it into a um, stories and like cartoons and, you know, humor, sort of like, because I was really influenced by Mad Magazine. So I just, it just became this satire thing. And she would write back and like, and she was so supportive. So it was like, whatever I wasn't getting at home, I mean, teachers for me who were so like surrogate mom for me, who were really supportive and very um, uh, encouraging of my creativity. I mean, we stayed in touch after uh, I left school. Um, she said that, I mean, she used to travel to Europe and she said that one of my students was, you know, uh, was into comics when he was in fifth grade and he became a professional and when they would tell the name and she would say it was Bill Sienkiewicz, they actually knew who I was. So she was like so proud. And she, I actually wrote a letter to her and um, to thank her for how important she was to me in, in so many ways.